Okay, we're going to do clickable photo page on Code Academy's HTML tutorial. Some photos on your table. You know all about tables now, but did you know that tables are useful for much more than formatting text? You can use a table to create a beautifully formatted grid of photos. You'll notice that we've included an extra file in the project, stylesheets.css. You'll be learning about CSS in the next lesson and project but we thought you might like to get a sneak peek here. This file will help you format your HTML to keep it looking great. So instructions, hit save and submit to start your photo project. Row by row. First things first, we need to create rows for our table. Uh, create a table complete with body with three table rows. Check the hint if you need a refresher. Okay, so, um, First thing we need to do is put some space in between our body tags and put an opening table and then a closing table. Then in between our tables we're going to put some rows. Let's see here. We want three of them. So TR and an ending TR. That's one row. And then I can just copy and paste that a couple times. And there I have a table with three rows. All right, next lesson, cell by cell. Great, now we'll need three cells per row to get nine cells all together. Instructions, add three table cells per row to get a total of nine cells. Okay, so I'm gonna go within the first row and I'm gonna put some table cells, which are TD for table data. So there's opening table data, closing table data, um, <clears throat> Uh, table data and I'll do that a couple more times and now I've got three opening and closing table datas within my first row Then I'll just copy and paste these table datas into my second row and my third row all right next lesson remember it's better with a header you want to give your table a header so everyone will know what your photos are and about. To make sure your header looks nice, remember to set its call span attribute to three, since you have three columns and you want the header to go across all of them. Okay, so the instructions create a table header users using the thead tags and the th tags. Feel free to call your table whatever you'd like to. Okay, so I'll go up here in my table and I'll go ahead and add some T head tags. There's the opening and there's the closing. Now within these table header tags I'm going to add a row And this row is going to have some columns in it, but it just has one column, and that column is going to span, span three different cells. So I'm going to put TD, and I'm going to put call span equals three. And that's my closing table data. I'm sorry, uh, <clears throat> I'll put a closing TD right at the end of that. And that gives me one cell that's going to span three columns just like these other rows are doing. All right, let's see if that works. Okay, I did what make one uh, error, and that is instead of using table data, which is TD, I should have used table heading, which is TH. Let's try that. Lastly, it wants me to write something in here as a heading, Sean's table. Okay, that worked. Nine pictures are worth 9,000 words. Good work. Next step, find nine pictures. You can use any image you like. If you can't think of any, try searching stock photo using your favorite search engine. Remember, image tags are one of the few tags in HTML that are self-closing. This means that instead of uh, image source URL and then a closing image tag, you should just type image source URL. 
This is because nothing goes between the opening image tags and the closing one, so you can safely open and close it with a single tab. OK Instructions. Insert an image between each set of the TD tags. Make sure to set the source attribute to the image URL you want to, to have the picture of. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have one image and I'm going to use it nine different times. Not very creative, but it's faster. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab in my browser. Go to images.google.com and I usually do something like cute kitties. And um, try to pick something relatively small. That's going to be hard. These images are huge. And uh, here's a small one. OK. So this is the thumbnail. I'm going to view the image. And here I can see the URL. I'll go ahead and copy that into my cache. And I'll come over here and I'll create an image tag. So the first image tag is going to go in the first cell. I'm going to space out these cells a little bit so that they're easier to read. So that's my first row. And my second row. Third row. Okay, so I've got it formatted here so it's a little bit easier to follow what's happening here. Just a quick little change. Okay, so I'm going to put an image tag in here, IMG. Its source is going to equal within quotation marks, and then I'll put a forward, sl a forward slash ending angle bracket. I'll go ahead and paste my URL here. There's my kitten, and now we're going to take that image tag and we're going to put it in every single one of these table data. So I'm going to copy it and just start pasting away inside of these tags. Every cell and every row is going to get the same picture. Okay, so here I've got my table and I think I'm done with this step. So I'm going to go ahead and submit the code. All right, next lesson. Link them up. Perfect. Now you just need to wrap each image tag in anchor tags like this. Well, that's a pain in the butt. Remember to give each anchor tag an href attribute and set it equal to the web address. You want your links to go. Check the hint if you're stuck. Instructions. Wrap each image tag in anchor tags like in the example above. There's no need to make your image tag source attribute an h. Uh, anchor href attributes point to the same web address. In fact, we encourage you to make them different. Okay, so I'm going to uh, do this slightly different. I'm going to make it so that the when you click the image, you're going to go to cnn.com. Why cnn.com? It's only three letters. So http cnn.com. Okay, so there's my opening anchor tag. I'm going to put that in front of every single image. So I'm going to copy it, move it in front of the image tag, paste it, paste it, paste it, eight more times. Okay, so now I've got it, the opening anchor tag. Now I need the closing anchor tag, so I'm going to go to the first cell, and right after the image I'm going to put a forward uh, angle bracket, forward slash A angle bracket. There's my closing anchor tag. I'll highlight that, copy it, and then I'll go around and put that at the end of every single one of my images, and that will turn them all into linked pictures. Now if I click on these, you can see as I hover over them, the cursor turns to a little hand, and that's what I would expect if these are clickable. I'll go ahead and submit, and uh, save and submit the code. Worked. Okay, let's go to the last step. The sky is the limit. Beautiful. You've now got a great looking table of clickable images to display on your rapidly growing website. There's no reason to stop at just nine images, though. You could create an entire album with dozens of images laid out beautifully on a table. 
free, uh, feel free to experiment with linking the small table images to larger versions of the photos, adding additional table cells, and so on. Instructions. When you're ready, click and save and submit the code to finish the course. Okay, so I could go through here and experiment with stuff. <clears throat> and um, I just really don't feel like doing that, so I think we're going to go ahead and submit the code and go on to the next lesson. All right. Achievement unlocked.